Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Happy New Year. Yes, 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. We tell the Lord, thank you that we made another year. Just coming on today, New Year's Day, and um, having family dinner is, no, is normal. So today, Mom made a lot, but all I'm going to eat today is um, some fried chicken wings and some sweet potatoes. Yum. I got neck bones and rice with collard greens. Did you get some black eyed peas? On that, to go with, huh? She got black eyed peas and chopped up onions. That's gonna be maybe round number two later on, y'all. And I got some um some kind of tea she made. And I got some lemon on the side to squeeze on my chicken. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how I do. Alright, I'm gonna say the grace. Tony done already started because you know how he do. <laughs> Thank you, most gracious and heavenly father, for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Okay, yeah, you can see Tony. You can halfway see his plate, but it's all about me, though. See, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the lemon, huh? Here, you want one? Let me taste. What you want to do? Squeeze it up. I think you're gonna squeeze it. Yeah, and when we were in Spain, this was the thing. The um, my mama puts toothpicks in my chicken because I like my chicken to be fried extra hard. My mama yeah. don't put toothpicks in my chicken. I eat it either way. <laughs> See, that's you know that's the loving mother. She knows what how we like it. And of course, some Texas peak over there on deck. Mm. Mm. Something about that something about that lemon on that chicken. What do you mean? Mm. Well, lemon on chicken. Oh my god, what are you talking about, Lisa? Lisa's on the other side, y'all. Hey y'all. Uh, Mammy, you got your phone back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Lemon. Mm -hmm. I slept all day, y'all. This Relax. I'm gonna be some color. You just saw them. Yeah, they were when I got him. Well, actually, I saw him last night. I'm gonna go see him before we came over here. Mm hmm. Okay, you gave me some of that sugar. I think she's so sweet. She gave you that good sugar. Narika's starting to give me sugar without asking. Hmm. You don't get no more. I don't want no hot sauce. At least not right now. I want to taste that lemon. And see what they would do in Spain, Lisa, they would just, you know, no batter, just salt and pepper it. Maybe some garlic salt, powder or something. Fried in olive oil. Olive oil. And then, sure. as soon as they come up out of the grease, mm -hmm. they, they may let them sit for about 10 seconds and then they douse it with lemon. Or, I mean, lemon uh, juice. Mm -hmm. 
to the where there's a little shallow puddle of lemon juice at the bottom of the plate mm -hmm. and they served it in clear glass plates mm -hmm. and then they um sprinkled salt, salt. sea salt. salt on it okay. and let me tell you that was the best and you ate it with pan which is bread mm -hmm. like a, it, it reminds you of a french loaf of bread uh -huh. but it was crunchy mm -hmm. the outside was crunchy and the inside was sore okay. so good and we would eat so many of those lemon chicken wings that you know the acidity of the lemon would turn your your mouth white. It made your lips look like you had your hands in the bathtub for two days. Wow. It was so good. You know what I'm talking about? Like you sit in the tub too long and your fingers get wrinkly. Wrinkly. Yeah, lemon juice did your lips like that. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. Kids go oh, back to school good. tomorrow. Tomorrow. They sure do. They, 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 and they chilling just like they ain't, <laughs> like they ain't, like they don't have to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did y'all have a madhouse today? Not too bad. It wasn't too bad today. Ma, I went outside while I was on. And I was just praying and talking to the Lord. Let me tell you, this feels good out there. Get you some fresh air. I mean, I was just out there for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. But it felt good. It gave me a... Now, that was tasty. Mm-hmm. That was really, really good. Mm. That hit the spot, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, when I got to work, I said, why is the Christmas music still on? Or was it? Yeah. Mm. Make, make, make people still feel like they want to shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, it's 12 days of Christmas. This mm -hmm. is the first day, I think, yeah. 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I used to know that song by heart. I, <clears throat> I thought about it real hard. Charlie, you didn't watch Charlie Brown Christmas this year. Year before that. Oh, year before that. <laughs> year before that. <laughs> I didn't hardly watch any cartoons for Christmas this year. I always watch the Christmas story. Because they usually have it on USA. And they run it Christmas Day all I see Macaulay day. Culkin is trying to become relevant again. There's some money running out. Didn't he do um, Home Alone? Didn't he do remake that? At his age now? Or am I dreaming? Uh, I think that's, they had him he, advertising. They had him advertising doing something where he was sitting at a table. It was a commercial. Oh. Um, I was because, thinking. Because uh, here's my thing. Uh... So his parents gonna leave him home alone again? He's hey. 30, thirty some years old. Hey, hey, there's some thirty <coughs> year olds still at home. Fuck. Sure will. But no, I don't know. I'm trying to bake that since I'm there. He, he, he doesn't need a babysitter at that age. No, 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 no. Uh, no. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. I saw something on TV where they were talking about he was remaking it, or I'm telling you, I'm not. He's gonna just, direct it. I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I heard something. All I know they is might, I saw. They're Hollywood's running out of and you're ideas, right. concept for movies anyway. And it could be that, you know, he is. But I did see him in a commercial. He's the, he did a commercial. That was the first time I had seen him in a commercial. Maybe that's what it is. anything other than them saying, uh. He was a real one. Well, what he was doing. Yeah, he looked, um. He was, he was in for something because he looked kind of bad. Yeah, he's real frail. Yes. Extremely. Mm. Mm. I think probably, I mean, you know, actually still get it in, but I think because reality oh. TV has taken over pretty much and that's who everybody's watching and of course YouTube. Hi. Yeah. 
And you you know you notice every year they come out with probably a well, that's ten the new or norm. better that's ten the, or better new, new yeah new that's the new show. You know I watched something interesting too, and they put it in perspective uh, about the millennials, and now they've got the Gen Z. That's the next generation. Yeah. That's the uh, from the kids going from ninety six on, and what they were saying about how we complain about them always on the uh, those things. Mm -hmm. Well. They were saying, that, "Well, that's how they function because they don't yeah, know a world. They don't know a world yeah. without it. That's it. That's and what they're doing yeah. is, is that because it's like those kids were saying because you know they had some uh, kids up there who run the four to five hundred companies. Mm -hmm. They had a young boy he was running the hedge fund from his dorm, yeah. making mega bucks. And what they were saying is, the kids, those, those Gen Z, would say, y 'Y'all need to get with us because we outnumber the millennials now, mm -hmm. and we're going to be the marketplace, and we're not just playing on these phones.'" We're multitasking. That's what the doctor said. What we don't realize is they're able to do six or seven different things at once. Mm -hmm. They're not. They can go to. Uh, they would say how they can go to Instagram for all that at one time and know what's going on. And that's the way the world is. And that's how they're able to tap into what's going on with the internet. And they're making money. And they're mm -hmm. getting businesses going because they're not just playing on the phones. They're able to. They're the first generation that can touch the world at the push of a button. Yeah. So that so that's what they're living in, and that's what they're doing. So that's all they know, yeah. and that's how they conduct their business. That's, that's how they do all their business and so stuff. For people who don't who are mm -hmm. not savvy, right? They don't, um, that's see, they, they, they don't know anything other than that. So, yeah. they that. so they grew into that. So that's that's all they know. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know what I'm and, and for us, see, we know the others. You know, because we, we know that stuff, right? So and for them, and so that's normal for them. For yeah. it, for us, it's not. Mm -hmm. And that's and they're able to function. Of and a lot, you know, and, and a, a lot, you know, and they they adapt to it a lot quicker than we do. Yeah, yeah that's why because they're right. Them phones and that's what they were saying that that yeah. um because those kids they were saying that we're not just on these phones. But that's what mm -hmm. the kids were saying. They had so we're not just on these phones. Just, My great niece, well, some uh, of them were trying to and they were talking. I was saying why were they so mad with the principal because he was making them drop. If you know, he told me you can have it. But if you have it out in the class, you know, on social media doing all this stuff, then I'm going to take it mm -hmm. and keep it to the end of the day. So this young man said... Well, that said point's going to be moved, too, because they're moving to take textbooks out of the classroom. They're going to well, only yeah, have electronic say, if devices. Disruptive, like, I think you have to have now. a detachment sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have some balance. And that's what they they did that on Good Morning America yeah, this morning. Balance. That's with anything. You that's what I was messing with the kids everybody. about, taking them. Yeah, yeah. everybody's two not weeks there. no social media, and they the did, and did, the teenagers they actually did a panel said with those teenage girls. Yeah, yeah they actually yeah, they said the that they were able that. to. They didn't get into me, as many fights yeah. with their parents uh, over the usage. Yeah, they slept better, mm -hmm. and they said, you know, all in all, <laughs> and it's messing they up were, their eyes. Yeah, eyes and all in it's all, making all of uh, very nearsighted. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then. The, the, it takes the person that the personal ability well, yeah, that out was, of that it. That was the drawback. There's so it's no, a good thing. There's no uh, interaction. But then you gotta have balance. Yeah. Uh, you gotta be able to talk to your child, you not through a, a a digital device, and be able to do eye contact you with your children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised at this. But that's what they were saying. Those people that don't, they're gonna be left behind. Yeah, but you'd be surprised there's no because teachers that because retired. Because they didn't want to know how to use with a computer. Mm -hmm. But you have to learn that stuff. Saying, yeah, you, you have, have to. to. You, you have, have to. to. Because that's the way the world's they going. Because they were saying in the next five, ten years, the, G, the Gen Z is going to outnumber the millennials. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and especially in the business place. So just like the kids, they said, y'all need to get with us. Y'all better be trying to get with us. That's what they were saying. Y'all need to be getting on these phone stuff with us. But and working with us because we are the future. Yeah, you, know? you gotta learn this stuff. Yeah. You really do. If you're gonna be a participant in it, they had them. They had Google the Five, sixteen, eighty by seven, eight years old. They what they were. They they run a. Which is uh, like that guy we saw last night. They run. A, He's gonna uh, be sixteen, graduating from high school and oh, Harvard yeah. at yeah, sixteen. But, but they had another black little boy do that same thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying yeah. in general. Just but the, the little kids, kids the the kid, the, it was a it was about six of them, and they run. What they do is, they're the go between for the big 
the, the mobile big no, companies. No, well, let me ask you. Here's a question. What they're doing do you is, think, no, not probably. They do you think we push our children all, too fast, There's a bridge that tells the big people. Mm -hmm. Why, do we make them the know too much? Well, or is it because yeah. it's the way they're of the world and they have to, to what, keep uh, up? I think that, yeah. I was just asking the question. Do we push our children too fast, too quick to know stuff? But it's right here. I can't. Well, that's what I'm just saying. Up, hey Kareem, come say say tips. hey for New Year to the people. Hey people. <laughs> uh -uh, I want you to come show your face in the place. <laughs> but anyway, they, uh, but you have to because it's here. Right. Or they're gonna be and, left and, behind and, if they and don't. Again, they're the generation that has everything right at their fingertips. Right yeah. like this. There's but no you waiting. Have to also think about everybody cannot afford to be there. So it can't be everybody doing those people who are privileged right. to be able to do it. Yeah. That's yeah, a good point. Like, but it's just like that's now, a good point. I'm telling you, a slew that was an excellent. Kareem, I want you to come show your face to the people because they didn't want to learn that computer. Well, that's crazy. So, you gotta yeah. change. You gotta yeah. change. But so you know, so everybody's not going. You got your hoodie on. You know, I mean, yeah. I do computer. Most of my friends, they still have no computer. Mm -hmm. but, but that's I crazy because you have to change. I like it. I enjoy it, and I understand it. So I can relate. So most of my friends, when I'm saying them stuff these kids doing, they look at me like I'm crazy. That's why I say everybody's not going to do it. Well, they're going to have yeah. to because it's, no, it, I'm, I'm watching them do yes to do yeah. because but they, they, say, they're, if, they're, if they want to be a part, if you want to be able to function in society, you're going to have, yeah. no, even, even yeah. to this point, they were just talking about this on the news. They are finna now start having the things in your hands instead of the, the, uh, the chips. So are you going to let them put one in your hand? They finna have the chips. Just like, okay, well, how are you going to let them put it in your hand? I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not saying what, it, what yeah. I'm saying is they're, they're making it towards, you, you missed my point. Yeah, I know because just like what Trump said, it's just like, this, just like what Trump said, this is what, went forward, right, even though this is what he's trying to do. Right. But this Everybody is what I'm saying. No what he's saying yeah. is in order for us to get, what they're pushing, we're supposed to get any Type of the passion is coming out, y'all. Uh, passion, but this is what he said to get groceries. Uh, yes, <laughs> you want to eat? Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what you they're trying to do. But you know, to what? get groceries to get yeah. any of your if goods they, that we normally get. That's the board for everybody. You have to see that, but right. you have to that's what they're pushing. Right. If you have, you have, if I just like right now, if, if I want all of my groceries from Harris Cedar, I gotta pay a price for that. Everybody can't afford to do that. It's right. available for the, just like going into outer it's space. It's available if for you those who want to participate in that, but you don't have to. Right. You don't have there to opt go. in. Just like My stuff with banking. Exactly. My point There's going to always be a thing yeah, where you can opt in or opt out. Yeah. Just like going to outer you, space, it's, it's going to be mandatory. That's what they're talking about. To go. That's what they said. Yeah. You're going to, in order for you to buy anything, you they want you to have, a, you're going to have to have an ID card for everything. Well, who's gonna be able to? Trump did already pushed, you know, push, you already pushing it through. You gotta have an ID card for everything. I just seen on the news as far as it, they doing it at the airports now. Well, you, the I reckon is where you don't have to pull out nothing. It's all being computerized AI. They've already started if, at some of the major airports where you just you go like this. Commodity, if you fly, there's no yeah. if. That's how you get in. But if you fly, yeah, well, they do right. face recognition on, on your right. iPhone now. Yeah. But it was no to my yeah. as far as the TSA. Agents, you don't have to yeah, go. Yeah, but that's not yeah. mandatory right. that we do that. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah, that, they are doing that. They're saying in order for but you to go through the gate, you got to. No, you so you don't have to. to uh, no, 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 no. What you have to have yeah. is that new ID where you have to show additional form of identification on your action. Because, matter of fact, I need to go up to the DMV and do mine because oh, I didn't yeah. have my birth certificate and I didn't have a ma right. piece of mail with my address in order to fly domestically yeah, and yeah, abroad. Right. You yeah, have to have a special know, ID, but you don't have. They have said, well, "This is what they said." I'm just telling you this what, is what they tell you. What they said. They said from now on, you, they're going to eliminate mm -hmm. you having to show That's any ID because they, they went through the rundown. The, the thing sees your face and it recognizes. It, it can tell you where you live, how much you weigh, all that. It just might by be. Seeing you it you might don't have to show no car. Who know. watched that on the news? I that's the problem. The they did say that. I don't doubt the case because. No, I'm telling you, that's what they said. They got. They had a robot. Now they got a robot that rocks around the airports now. So that if you lost, Tony, you're missing or have what left, you just go up to the thing and you and you tell it. Yeah, I've been there, but it's not. What are you talking that's about? There's no ID. There's no, no ID. But that, that's the it's not a requirement. It's not. I've already asked all these questions when I went to the. I'm DMV. not saying it's a requirement. I just said, said from the beginning. Mandatory. No, from the beginning, I said they're gearing up 
to make it to where you have to. I didn't say it's there now. That's what they're just trying to do. They're gearing they're up not to do that. Do, if what, they've already talked about that legislatively. That's yes, that yes, it is. I mean, it's just like with okay, for instance, it's just like voter ID. Now they've passed a law that says okay, if you that was supposed to be against the law. Wait, wait, wait. If you want to, but, but it see, passed. But here's the thing: because people voted for it. If the people, we the people, for the people, by the people, if the people decide that that's what they want, and that's what happened here in North Carolina, the people, but they didn't explain it right. But the people voted. So now it has to be that you have, in, or if you want to participate in voting, you have to, you have, to, you have yeah. to, not, so again, it's not mandatory. You know, we know about that I'm just because saying, they've been doing let it. Let me finish. It's not mandatory that you vote. But if you want to be a participant in the political process, yeah. you're going to have to have that ID. Same yeah. way with flying. Like I said, I'm, fly, I'm going to be, I'm going to be flying fly. a lot this year. So guess what? In order for me to do that by 2022, no, but excuse me, by 2020, 20, yeah. by 2020, I've got, and, and, and it's, it's going to be a requirement for getting on and off different bases. Well, you're going to have to do that for your driver's license and everything. All oh, that's going to change. So now I have an updated driver's license, but in order for me to you gotta fly. Get a new, everybody, we gotta get, you got to get a new ID card and driver's so license. They got something in them now. Yeah, by 2020, it, what it is, it just is it's catalog. That, that, that just lets people know that when you go to a base, you've been cleared because you've provided the extra information required to get on and off bases right. and to fly domestically mm -hmm. so like i said i had i yeah, was I had seen that in the driver's lesson yeah and that's yeah, that's exactly. already and so whenever i read it i was like oh man i wish i had known that because right. now it's gonna call even though i got my license renewed my license expired you know expired on my birthday mm -hmm. so when i went and got my license renewed she i said oh i want to make sure i get the new required update right. so i can fly around. She said, well, you, do you have your birth certificate in a piece of mail with your address on? Like yeah, utility bill. She said, well, you can come up here anytime and it just costs you an additional $13. Yep, all you got to do, that's what that lady said, all you have to do is show, is that. show your face. But yeah. now, like that's right it. now, but, but right now. If you're going to fly. Right. If, if you're going to fly. fly. Right. But that's what I'm well, saying. It's what else would you have to say if you're not going to the airport? No, but what I'm saying is you're saying it was mandatory. You were saying it was going to become mandatory. It's not going to be. It's like across the board. Yeah, no. It's not going to be. everybody who flies. Yeah, well, yeah, people, for people who are going to participate, that's what we're saying, for people who are going to participate in those things, yes, they're going to have to abide by right. that. What do I say, go to the airport, what do you go to the airport for? Besides oh, no, I thought you were trying to no. say everybody I mean, no. to buy anything, no, to buy anything. No, anybody say, I want to listen, y'all putting words in my mouth, I said... No, 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 I thought you said No, that's not what I said In order to buy anything, you're going to have to be no. tipped No, I didn't Oh, I said okay what well, Trump I, was trying Excuse to do. me, y'all We thought that's what he said yeah. No, I said what Trump was trying to do Was make you have to have an ID call for everything Oh But they're trying to gear it to where you have to have Well, he won't win that battle Right, he done already put it out there He's put it out there Everybody got that $15 I'm saying he done put it out there And that's the thing about with the voter ID A lot of people that's and a lot of that stuff yeah. is happening. A lot of people Everything cannot afford fifteen dollars to get an ID. So now what they're going to have to do? It's going to we the taxpayers are going right. to pay for that. So what's going to same way with insurance? People who are indigents, guess what? That's going that's why Obamacare came into place so yeah. that people right. had to have that insurance. Oh, if that, not, uh, they're going to be penalized. That judge stayed his order. Concerning. His own, his own about the, the Obama thing. Because you remember he, he shut it down and then. Oh uh, yeah, they said it he, was he, unconstitutional. He stayed his own. He stayed his own uh, decree. Yeah, he stayed it because he was saying that uh, so many uh, Americans are going to be without. You know, it's unsure what's going to happen. So he said he's going to yeah, stay to see. Yeah. Had folks don't even know what's going on. Yeah, because they then they didn't advertise it. Trump for the purpose didn't even advertise it. Stop the advertising. They said he shut down over ninety percent of the advertising leading up to where you can oh, get yeah. your Obama. And that's why Obama went out down. there and he did that's his why, own. Yeah, that's why I, right, because Trump told him to They stop cut the funding to, to, to yeah. get the word out. Absolutely, yeah, they cut it. That's crazy. But 
Anyway, y'all, you got to see the passion, the passion of Tony. The passion of Tony. That's how we roll sometimes when the camera's on. But y'all got the full passion of Tony. Wait, right. Well, again, because you know they were doing it before at one time, which made him get the Obama check. Right. I'm going to eat these. Well, just like with the, uh, they were discussing also, uh, what were they talking about? About the FEMA because they were saying how FEMA is ensuring these people to go back to flooded areas that's they know gonna flood so now what they're trying to do is get FEMA to stop doing it and let the private sector do it so if the private sector don't do it then you know you can't because people they because FEMA has insured people to go they are giving them money to go back because you because it's just like after uh just like uh, still Matthew, people who ain't got. Yeah, they remember uh, Matthew yeah. in them houses back there off of John Street. And you know all that. But you know what don't make any sense flood, to me? They went right back. They went right Here's back. Here's what don't make no sense to me. A lot of these people and built. They won't. They won't sell. I mean, these areas have been dilapidated. These houses, and they don't have them. I mean, just. Come on now, really? They want it's a it's about ownership. That's mine. Mm -hmm. I want it. They mine. they don't have the money to the rebuild that stuff. They might as well just sell it. But they don't mm -hmm. see it. That's well, you cannot because why would you want to rebuild the government? Study? The government is is offering to buy these places. Is what not I'm not saying. Anymore. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of people are losing out on. They should have sold. Should have, right. They should have yeah. sold, and that's what I'm but saying. They're, they're holding on right. to these areas that are not. Because not only that, yeah, yeah, if the yeah, government yeah. was willing to buy that, yeah. now granted, it may not have been. In other words, the law but, says the government has to give a fair price. Yeah. Now, in other words, if it's if the land is worth fifty, and they can't come in and say, "Okay, we ain't gonna pay you but fifteen. No, that ain't a fair price. Yeah. You, the government has to offer a fair price. But then on the same token, if they don't sell it and it just sits there, what's going to happen is the people that are there, that, they, they even talked about that. It's not just, okay, clearing the land and rebuilding. No, you've got to clean up all that stuff that done went through there from flooding, mm -hmm. any type of whatever, virus, any fungus among us. <laughs> they got to clean up all that. Mm -hmm. In order to uh, be approved for inspection for rebuilding, oh, it's a lot. They did a good story on yeah, cause you, it. Yeah, because yeah, because a lot. And of I said, you know what? Swampy. I can understand that was granddaddy land, that was mama land, that was sister before removed. Don't make some old people don't make. It a don't make no difference. Mm -hmm. that, you're missing the whole point. But I'm just saying that's their mentality. A, that's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm saying. And their they mentality. They know the value of a dollar. And they know the value of a dollar. And they and they and their thing is their thing is it's my land. Prince, uh, what is Princeville. it? Princeville, just yeah, like so that little town. That, that, oh yeah, that should have been done away with years ago. But, but they've got the historic, they got this nostalgia, but and they've been they've been there for the family there, generations and generations. But that's what I'm saying. These people are saying, "Oh, this and is mama house, daddy house." Yeah, they've been there ever since the beginning of time. Yep. And they will sit down there. And some of those people down through there, they don't even know they're free. Wait, wait, wait. Some of the people down in there, they they come out in the woodwork and they ain't hair ain't never been combed. They don't even know well, they free. That, but they don't even understand. They got something that's that. there out like they don't even know they free. It's what they are accustomed to. It's that that's what I'm saying. Home, that's what I'm saying. It's what they are used to. It's what that's what I'm saying. And, you know, you can't, and but that's what I'm making the point. Go. The point mm -hmm. is that they'll come out and when you so see them, yeah. they'll come out and they can't hair ain't been combed because that's what they they don't know anything else. People, you know, mess with them folks like that. They know for some years of time, these people not moving. They are not moving. Well, honey, Especially like I said, a, a lot of them, that's all they had because they yeah. took everything else. And, and just like, remember where that that's news, it. newspaper reporter was in there about two weeks Oh, yeah, they got killed. Like that kind mm -hmm. of situation. That them kind of stuff. Told them, look, don't send nobody here, don't come in. Don't go there. You come in, you ain't coming back out. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's who they are. And that guy was trying to do it. Out of the goodness of his, goodness of his heart, and it cost him his life mm -hmm. because he was determined he was going to help them. They did not want to be well, he helped thought he was, based right. on he, what he, this he was, man is talking about. They said, we're right. How you, how you going to say we need help? We need ask you for no help. Yeah, yeah that's that's the air his arrogance it, you know he thank you look, look yeah, did I ask you bring me to my new year's blood work let it happen mm -hmm. leave folks alone let folks do what they need to do if you see them slipping and falling if you can help them then help them if they receive the help but if they don't let it happen leave folks right. alone mm -hmm. leave people especially alone. nowadays yeah look rest on me he said 
<laughs> he said he's he has uh learned to leave folks alone. In other words, uh if they feel like they can handle their business better than They're you can, handling. even when you offer help, can. guess what? Let them you handle your business your way and I handle my business mine. Yeah. Dad used to always say, if you mind your business 50% of the time and stay out of other folks the other 50%, it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. that That's it. Leave folks alone. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it. We get passionate and want to help, but I, that's what I'm, my 2000, it ain't no resolution. It's like, and I'm basically like that anyway. Let it happen. And I can say that because. I fix the things in my life that I feel like I need to fix. And so I can just let whatever happens with me, just let it happen. And when folks say no, no means no. Mm -hmm. it just means no. Leave and I'm adopting the word impact. Yeah. I'm going to be impactful the best places I can be. I'm not going to spin or throw my pearls in areas I know it's not going to make any difference. But I'm going to be impactful in areas I know, whether it's in my life, my job, my family. I'm going to be and seek out what is the most impactful I can be. So that's what I'm adopting. Black love. <laughs> Black love. I hear you. Black also, love. Also, why y'all think, my thing, like I said, let it happen. I'm, I'm going to deal with all the let things. So I got my let. I got... I got seven let. I got let not your heart be troubled. Let live and let live. Let there be light. Let your light shine. Let it go. Let it be. And let children grow and learn. So every time I think of a let phrase, mm. that's that's how that's why I'm able to be able to say let it happen. Because all these things gonna happen whether you want it to or not. I mean think life will go on whether you if you open your eyes or not. Yeah, so why you true. beat yourself up like something stuff you don't have no control over? That is true. Mm -hmm. I learned Amen. that. Every, I'm seventy years That's old, that serenity prayer still, there. It's still it's still something that I have to do daily. I have to do I, I have to do I have to understand folks do what they want to do now. If it lines up with what you want them to do or what you're doing, wonderful. But by far and by large people because what's the first law of nature? Preserve self preservation. Okay, yeah. so then people are gonna preserve themselves long before they preserve That's right. you. But you find people who will put them set, put you before them. That's because they got some stuff lined up where they can. Mm -hmm. But if people don't have some stuff lined up where they can, it ain't happening. Right. They're gonna preserve themselves first. Self preservation you, is you, the law of you all take nature. That to the bank, honey, because I don't watch the, the, the deposit too many times not to know better. But still, we are human beings and we get caught up. Right. Mm -hmm. so I mean, I'm serious. Let it happen. And life is so much easier when we do. Because mm. just like that, like for instance, last night was just something simple. I was so tired. And so I said, oh, And I thought, I said, uh -uh. I didn't say, go, I didn't go to bed and say, okay, I'm going to get up tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock and start cooking and start doing I just let it happen. I got in the bed. I went to sleep. Guess what time I woke up? 10 15. I haven't slept for 10 15 in mm. a long time. Mm -hmm. So I just, in just mm. from that, I thought, if I was to sleep at 10 15, I would wake up and think it was Armageddon. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I slept at 10 45. I could have planned, planned, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to get up, I'm going to cook, the kids here, I'm going to get up, I'm going to do it. I just let it flow. Yeah. And I felt, and that, and I slept six, <clears> seven hours. <throat> I slept eight hours. I ain't slept eight hours in a coon day, as they say. Mm. Four or five hours for good. me is mm. it. You yeah, know, that my day's off. I'm like I'm working. Yeah. Well, that's a routine. And you know, your body, because my body wakes up. My body normally, no matter what, I'm, I go to bed most nights at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. At 7.30, uh, 4 to 8, or 7, between 7 and 7.30, I'm up. So well, for me, and I know for me, well, here, look, my you know, some water more and please, more baby. for me is uh, I'm gonna get a chair. I might make me a problem. Is that I feel so anxious, I, and I get in the pit of my stomach, like mm -hmm. I got to go do something. Yeah. I'm missing. There's something I got to be doing. Mm -hmm. There's something that I don't, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I, I got to be going to, to, to do it. Thank you, know, you baby. And I be, and I, and I feel like feel I'm always rushing. Yeah. Water. I feel I get anxious at times. Just depends on what's going on. I mean, every once in a blue moon, I get that little pit of my stomach feeling, and that feeling. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't think I have. I don't know what it be. Me. I'm not having it too much. Now that's what's going on with Cynthia. Man, she's going through that panic attack stuff. Yeah, I'm getting antsy, but I um see, I used to have my exercises. All right, thank you. To get me over, but I can't exercise like I. All right, I'm gonna use in the video, y'all. We're gonna finish jaw jacking later. Well, and you get after the just come, you yeah. can't work out like you used to. Just like I can't run. I used to run. All right, y'all. I was six five. I can't run. I, I want to thank y'all for stopping on the yeah, flavor yeah. train because what? What? Flavors? Where is that? Bye, y'all.